Hi everyone, I'm JD from Lima Bound Journals. Welcome back to my channel. This is a Faith Junk Journal With Me episode. I put one of these videos out every Sunday and I do have a playlist. I think it's called Bible Junk Journaling if you would like to see the other videos in this series. Um, and basically what I do is just grab out my Faith Journal. This is the current one that I'm using and I just find a page that I think will go with what I want to journal about. And then I grab my journaling Bible, grab a highlighter and I just... Um, highlight the passage that I will be looking at. So I'll read that out to you guys and share how it's speaking to me. Hope it's encouraging and I'll um, walk you through my process of what I do with my journaling pages. So first of all the reason I chose this page is because it had the letters on the right hand side and that ties into what I'm going to be journaling about in two ways. One is that I've redecorated my room. Um, so this week some fairy lights arrived and I had some help um, putting up three shelves and so that lifted things up off my desk so now I have space on my desk and my typewriter is there so I took a photo of that with the fairy lights and my shelves and the typewriter you can't really see it in this photo but um the, you can see my chair in the middle of my desk and then to the right of that at the back of my desk is a black spot and that black spot is actually my typewriter um, from my grandpa passed down to me um, so I absolutely love it and I get to see the typewriter keys on my desk and that reminds me of the letters of that page. So yeah, little details like that make me happy. Um, and yeah, really loving my room at the moment and it's just making me smile. It's been a dream of mine to um, put up fairy lights in my room. I had them when I was a kid and I've always wanted them again. So years later, I'm just so happy that I can have them again. And I get to read by fairy light because it gives enough light. It's like a lamp. And because I've got these shelves now, it's lifted everything off my desk. I've got all my journals. They're within reach. I love that. So everything I need to journal is now around me. I, I reorganized everything. And um, yeah, now everything is kind of set up in a more practical, usable way. But I, it left me with a free shelf on, on one of my bookcases. And all my books have been in storage this year. So now that I have that free shelf, I pulled out all my books and... Um, now I love seeing my books on my shelf because I really do love books and reading so that's that's also making me happy now let me read out the scripture for you and then I'll go into the other reason I chose this page um, it is John 1 no John 14 verse 1 to 2 I'm going to read a bit further on just so you can get the whole um, feel of this passage but it says don't let your hearts be troubled Trust in God and trust also in me. There's more than enough room in my father's home. If this were not so, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? When everything is ready, I will come and get you, so that you will always be with me where I am. And I love the New King James Version where it says, In my father's house, there are many mansions. And basically, <laughs> I'm kind of turning my, my little room um, into my mini mansion, <laughs> an earthly mansion. Because I love this idea that, you know, he prepares a place for us, um, but he's also prepared a place for us right here, right now on earth. And I love the idea of how... You know, he has created the whole of creation for us. That's why I've also included this little journal card. It has some flowers here and it says green forest. That reminds me that his whole creation is um, his mansion in a way for us to live in. And that, you know, sometimes you hear um, people say, or I've said, we welcome God into this place, you know, come into this place, God, we welcome you here. But actually, God is the one who welcomes us into his place He's the one who created creation and it's his cathedral and he didn't have to create us. But he says, welcome, come, come to this place, come to this creation, enjoy it, enjoy it. Look at my beauty, look at all of the flowers. That's why I include later some floral washi tape at the end of this video. Um, enjoy my flowers, enjoy my sunsets, enjoy my beaches, enjoy my forests. Um, and see me through them, connect with me through them, and see my glory through this creation, my cathedral of creation. I welcome you into this space. And I love the idea and how our rooms, our houses, can also be um, a mini mansion, <laughs> um, a, a, a mini cathedral where we can see God's beauty, where we can see his glory um, and yeah, I just never connected with it that with it that way until this week. 
um, and how, yeah, if I've been doing this art journal course. I've been running um, an art journal course. And one of the things I learned through doing that course was how um, I've been really frustrated with my space, how it hasn't felt comfortable to me, it hasn't felt like me, um, and just unpractical, impractical is that the word? <laughs> um, and I just, it was affecting my well being, it was affecting my mind. And I just realized, wow, space is actually really important. And so that's when I went about redecorating and redoing my space so that I could feel comfortable here. And I'm just so thankful. Um, I'm thankful to God for um, letting me know that, <laughs> bringing that to the forefront of my mind and him make, letting me realize that space um, was important to me. Like it's not going to be important to everyone, but to me it was, yeah, really affecting my well-being um, and that I could then, you know, know what I could do to um, fix that, get some things that could make it look a bit more organized and more user friendly and beautiful. And so I'm just very thankful and that's why I took that photo. And the other photo is my name written in ink. Uh, I'm doing a course by Sabrina Ward Harrison because I believe in when you do something, um, you do it first. So if I'm going to teach journaling courses, I need to be taking journaling courses. Same with like Patreon. Before I started a Patreon, I first became a patron of someone else. And before I started a YouTube channel, I first was subscribed to YouTube channels, if that makes sense. So I always want to be doing journaling courses myself to be, I don't know, um, trained, to be taught, to learn, to grow. Um, and so this course is like a creative course and really excited about it. Um, and But at first I wasn't sure if I should do it or not because it's quite an investment and I just wasn't sure should I do it. Um, and then after I purchased it, I still wasn't sure. But then um, straight after I saw Sabrina put up a video with my name that she had written and I just felt so welcomed and it felt like God was saying to me, yes, this is meant for you. I meant for you to do this course at this time. It's going to help you and grow you and you're going to learn so much through this course. And um, I um, just felt really welcomed and it felt like yeah, Sabrina welcomed me and through that God welcomed me and I kind of want to do that, take that and and take that approach as well. Show people you are welcome, you are so welcome, that you are so seen, you are so known, you are so valued, you are so loved and also you are so welcome just as you are, just as you are. Um, and here I was just playing around with labels, I didn't end up putting them there but I was just writing the date trying to find a place to write the date and I ended up putting it very small in one of these little white gaps but yeah just wrote about all of that how I felt loved with my room God speaking to my, me through my room and the help that I was given to put all the lights and shelves up and then the welcoming by Sabrina so I hope you enjoyed that video and I will see you guys in the next video bye guys a big special thank you to all of my patrons who supported me in september thank you so so much for making my creative dreams come true um, if you would like to become a patron in october i would be forever grateful and you will get access to extra printables and videos and depending on your tier first preference for my journals behind the scenes looks and updates um, i'm also running my courses again in august so there's the willow journal course the anchor journal course and the launch of the art journal course so check the description box below for any of those details if you're interested and I also have a buy me a coffee donation option as well you can check me out on Instagram and the Facebook group page where I put up updates and announcements and there's the community page as well Willowbound journals exist to bring light and love into the world